Hey, welcome to my messy house. I'm still unpacking and I haven't figured out where to put everything yet. So that's what you see behind me. Uh, yes, I apparently do feel the need to apologize, but let's get right to our topic. Uh, what is with this unlearning stuff? I sometimes have students say to me, um, I'm here to learn. Why are you asking me about what I need to unlearn? So here's why I'm asking you, uh, what do you need to unlearn? We are people who basically, in the West especially, we have this mindset that we want to figure something out. We figure it out. We listen, whatever. And then we, ma we make a decision about how we feel about something or how to look at something. And then we kind of say, okay, that's our way. We think this is best. We think this is right. And we dig our heels in and we defend it. The problem is we get so defensive of our own perspectives in the West um, and in our Western way of looking at things that we um, are not as open as we might need to be in order to be aware of other possibilities. And because innovation is all about being open to other possibilities, the idea of what do I need to unlearn is basically another way of asking yourself, uh, how can I get out of my own way? Um, because that's basically what we need to do in order to do something differently than we've ever done it before. We need to get out of our own way. We need to get out of the way that we normally think. We need to get out of the way that we've been taught. We need to get out of the way that we've always done things before. So I'm going to just give you one little um, analogy, and, and maybe that will help um, bring this home about how unaware of things we sometimes are. Uh, and and I, I gave you the example of making up your mind about something, but there's a whole lot of things that you learn as you go that you actually didn't consciously make up your mind about, and those things can be in your way too. So um, here's the example. Uh, either you came from a house where it was cool for you to put your feet on the um, coffee table while you were watching TV or whatever, or you came from a house where uh, a parent in your house said to you, get your feet off that table. Okay, so let's assume that you came from a house where um, your your parents allowed you to put your feet up on the coffee table, that that was the practice. You are not going to even know that there is another practice. You're just going to absorb. Nobody's even going to talk about it. You see somebody with their foot up on the table. You put your foot up on the table. Nobody ever says anything. That's just the way it happens in your family, right? Now you go visit your girlfriend in high school. You're, they invite you to dinner, and afterwards you go sit down to watch TV with your girlfriend, and you just put your feet up on the table, and you don't even think about it because that's what you do, right? And your girlfriend all of a sudden goes, ah! and you're looking at her and you're like, what was that? And she says to you, why are your feet on the table? And for the first time ever, you go, oh, are my feet not supposed to be on the table? And that is when you become aware that there's another way of doing things. So I just use that as an example. Um, we don't even know what we know or why we know it or how we came to it a lot. And so I want us to actually have opportunities to practice uh, getting out of our own way. And that means trying to identify what it is we already think uh, that might inhibit us from see thinking and seeing the things that these new concepts that I'm introducing um, are offering to you. So that's it. I'm, I'm looking around for my mouse so I can turn this off. Um, but that's why I put these prompts together is to help you uh, have some, to give you some tools to do a better job um, being able to be an innovative thinker. So there you have it. Why to unlearn.